Now Laban had two daughters, Leah was the older and Rachel the younger. Leah had nice eyes, but Rachel was stunningly beautiful. And it was Rachel that Jacob loved. So Jacob answered, I will work for you seven years for your younger daughter Rachel. It is far better, said Laban, that I give her to you than marry her to some outsider. Yes. Stay here with me. So Jacob worked seven years for Rachel. But it only seemed like a few days, he loved her so much. Then Jacob said to Laban, Give me my wife, I've completed what we agreed I'd do. I'm ready to consummate my marriage. Laban invited everyone around and threw a big feast. At evening, though, he got his daughter Leah and brought her to the marriage bed. And Jacob slept with her. Laban gave his maid Zilpah to his daughter Leah as her maid. Morning came, there was Leah in the marriage bed. Jacob confronted Laban, What have you done to me? Didn't I work all this time for the hand of Rachel? Why did you cheat me? We don't do it that way in our country, said Laban. We don't marry off the younger daughter before the older. Enjoy your week of honeymoon, and then we'll give you the other one also. But it will cost you another seven years of work. Jacob agreed. When he'd completed the honeymoon week, Laban gave him his daughter Rachel to be his wife. Laban gave his maid Bilhah to his daughter Rachel as her maid. Jacob then slept with her. And he loved Rachel more than Leah. He worked for Laban another seven years. When God realized that Leah was unloved, he opened her womb. But Rachel was barren. Leah became pregnant and had a son. She named him Reuben, look it's a boy. This is a sign, she said, that God has seen my misery, and a sign that now my husband will love me. She became pregnant again and had another son. God heard, she said, that I was unloved and so he gave me this son also. She named this one Simeon, God heard. She became pregnant yet again, another son. She said, now maybe my husband will connect with me, I've given him three sons. That's why she named him Levi, Connect. She became pregnant a final time and had a fourth son. She said, this time I'll praise God. So she named him Judah, praise God. Then she stopped having children.